Flying fish is a small and valuable species, typically living in large schools in temperate and subtropical waters. Catching flying fish requires fishermen to have the necessary skills, experience, and the right equipment to achieve high efficiency. The fishing season usually occurs when the fish gather to spawn, primarily at dawn or dusk, when schools of fish approach the shore or surface. Fishermen typically use seines or trawl nets to catch flying fish, with seines being the preferred method as it can effectively encircle and capture large schools. Modern fishing vessels are equipped with radar systems and fish finders to pinpoint the exact location of the flying fish schools, helping to save time and effort. After being caught, the fish are stored on the boat with ice or advanced refrigeration systems to keep them fresh before being transported to the port. Although catching flying fish provides a stable source of income for many fishermen, it is important to focus on protecting the marine environment and sustainable development, avoiding overfishing to preserve fishery resources for the future. In addition to traditional fishing methods, many coastal areas are now adopting biotechnology and controlled flying fish fishing models to improve efficiency while reducing negative impacts on marine ecosystems. Some places have established seasonal fishing zones, rotating fishing areas to allow fish to recover naturally. Additionally, initiatives such as installing fish sorting devices on boats help remove juvenile fish and release them back into the sea to continue their development, contributing to ecological balance. After being caught and brought to shore, flying fish are processed at nearby factories under various forms such as salted, canned, dried, or frozen for export. Depending on market demand, flying fish is also used to produce fish sauce, fish oil, or animal feed. Thanks to being caught in large schools with reasonable prices and high nutritional value, flying fish has become an important marine resource in the economy of many countries. However, for the sustainable development of the flying fish fishing industry, there needs to be close cooperation between local fishermen and environmental protection organizations to develop reasonable plans, improve monitoring, and raise public awareness about marine resource conservation, not just focusing on fishing and processing. Flying fish also supports the growth of related industries, such as shipbuilding, fishing gear production, maritime transport, and community-based tourism centered on the fishing experience. In some coastal fishing villages, catching flying fish has become a distinctive traditional cultural practice organized into annual festivals to pray for bountiful harvests and express gratitude to the sea. These festivals not only hold spiritual value, but also attract tourists, generating additional income for local people. Moreover, flying fish is a familiar topic in the culinary culture of many regions, with traditional dishes such as grilled flying fish, steamed flying fish, flying fish salad, crispy fried flying fish, or braised flying fish with sugarcane. These dishes contribute to maintaining the importance of this fish species in daily life and the economy. Supportive policies for fishermen, such as investing in upgrading boats, training fishing techniques, providing fishery forecasts, and establishing fish markets along with post-harvest preservation systems, are essential for responsible and planned flying fish fishing. This not only ensures sustainable economic benefits, but also helps protect marine resources, leaving a legacy for future generations. In the context of increasing climate change and marine pollution, the flying fish industry faces many new challenges. Rising sea temperatures, changes in currents, and ocean acidification affect the migratory and reproductive behaviors of flying fish, making it more difficult to locate fishing grounds. At the same time, Floating plastic waste and untreated wastewater dumped into the sea also negatively impact the habitats of this species. In response, many coastal countries have started adopting high-tech solutions, such as using satellites to monitor the marine environment and creating digital databases on fish resources and fishing areas to improve management and effectively respond to fishery resources. Additionally, international cooperation is increasingly emphasized to prevent illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing activities, thereby ensuring the sustainability of the flying fish industry. It can be said that for the flying fish industry to continue thriving in the future, efforts from fishermen alone are not enough. 
It requires the collaboration of society as a whole to protect the oceans. Improving management systems, developing science and technology, and keeping up with modern trends, as well as combining both fishing and aquaculture, are being researched and tested in some areas. Although flying fish are naturally occurring species and difficult to adapt to artificial environments, thanks to advancements in marine biology and large-scale cage farming technology, some controlled aquaculture models for flying fish have achieved initial success. This not only helps reduce pressure on natural fish stocks near the shore, but also opens new pathways for sustainable and environmentally friendly marine aquaculture. At the same time, educating the public about marine resource conservation and encouraging responsible consumption of flying fish products is also an important part of the long-term development strategy. Today, consumers are increasingly concerned with factors such as green products, sustainable development, and traceability. As a result, seafood companies are gradually improving their production processes to obtain international certifications for safety and environmental protection. Therefore, flying fish is not only a common species in the lives of coastal communities, but also a symbol of harmony between tradition, modern livelihoods, and the protection of marine ecosystems. The responsible, scientific, and humane exploitation and development of flying fish will play a key role in building a sustainable, culturally rich, and promising blue economy in the future. In addition to its economic and ecological benefits, flying fish fishing also plays a crucial role in sustaining and developing coastal fishing communities. Many families across generations have been closely tied to the fishing profession, with flying fish being an essential part of their lives. Skills such as choosing the right time to go to sea, observing the sky, predicting fish movements, and setting nets effectively are passed down through stories from ancestors and practical experiences in the midst of storms. Therefore, fishing for flying fish is not only a means of livelihood, but also a valuable repository of folk knowledge that needs to be preserved. In the current context, supporting young fishermen in accessing new technologies and combining traditional knowledge with modern methods will help them feel more confident when going to sea, while also highlighting the unique cultural values of coastal areas. Additionally, tourism experience projects that allow visitors to join fishermen in catching flying fish, listen to sea stories, and enjoy fresh fish dishes are gradually becoming an attractive model. This initiative contributes to diversifying income sources and raising visitors' awareness of local culture, the sea, and the islands. From a small fish species, flying fish has become deeply integrated into the lives, culture, economy, and maritime dreams of coastal communities, serving as a living testament to resilience, creativity, and a deep love for the for the flying fish industry to develop sustainably in the future, a comprehensive long-term strategy must be established with close coordination. First, fishing areas need to be replanned, with clear identification of fishing zones for each season based on the breeding and migration cycles of flying fish, to avoid overfishing and resource depletion. Next, scientific research on the ecology of this species should be promoted including its biological characteristics, habitat, and climate-related factors to provide accurate data for management and forecasting. At the same time, investments should be increased in fishery infrastructure, such as building modern fish ports, post-harvest processing facilities that meet food safety standards, and efficient product distribution networks. Additionally, the role of community organizations and fishermen's cooperatives should be strengthened to create strong links between fishermen, processors, consumers, and regulatory bodies. Building brands for local flying fish products, such as Pu Kwok Flying Fish, Van Nin Flying Fish, or Bak Lu Flying Fish, is a necessary step to enhance value-added products and help fishermen achieve more stable incomes. Finally, public awareness of the role of the ocean and fishery resources needs to be continually raised so that every citizen, from those working at sea to consumers on land, understands that protecting and maintaining the oceans is part of their responsibility to the nation. When these factors are combined, flying fish fishing will not only be an economic industry, but also a symbol of a modern, humane and sustainable blue economy.
Furthermore, the development of the flying fish industry and its processing will open up significant opportunities to participate more deeply in the global supply chain. Flying fish is a popular seafood product in many international markets, such as Japan, South Korea, European countries, and North America, due to its high nutritional value, reasonable price, and ease of preparation. With a suitable strategy to improve product quality, ensure clear traceability, and meet international standards for environmental and food safety, Vietnamese flying fish has the potential to become a strong brand in the export market. Businesses and cooperatives need support to transition to a green production model, using fishing nets that are marine life-friendly, reducing fuel consumption, and increasing deep processing to enhance product value. At the same time, promoting trade, participating in international seafood fairs, and signing bilateral and multilateral trade agreements will help expand market reach and reduce dependence on a few major markets. Beyond the economic aspect, the development of the flying fish industry is also closely tied to the mission of preserving marine cultural heritage. Coastal fishing villages that preserve customs, festivals, and legends related to flying fish need to be protected and promoted as part of the national identity. Combining marine tourism with community education on marine ecology and traditional fishing practices will help people, especially the younger generation, appreciate and cherish their surrounding environment more. If organized and invested in properly, flying fish fishing can not only provide stable livelihoods, but also contribute to building a comprehensive blue economy, where the economy, culture, and environment develop harmoniously, sustainably, and humanely. Furthermore, the development of the flying fish industry plays an important role in implementing the National Blue Economy Development Strategy, serving as a pillar to help the country become a maritime power in the future. Through daily fishing activities, the flying fish industry has created jobs for millions of coastal workers, reduced labor migration to urban areas, and maintained social stability in rural and remote island regions. At the same time, through responsible exploitation and efficient processing, flying fish has become an important food source domestically, contributing to food security and nutrition for the population. Moreover, the value chain related to flying fish has expanded into sectors such as food, pharmaceuticals, cosmetics, and animal feed, driving growth in other industries. This presents an opportunity for scientists, entrepreneurs, and workers to collaborate in transforming traditional fishing into a modern, innovative, and environmentally friendly sector. However, to achieve this goal, there needs to be coordinated participation from both central and local levels, with policies that encourage innovation, provide financial support, offer vocational training, and enhance management capacity for fishermen. It can be said that the relationship between people and flying fish is not only about survival, but also a symbol of resilience, adaptability, and a connection to nature. Each boat navigating the waves to find flying fish schools is a small step in the journey to conquer the vast ocean. A part of the national identity and the aspiration to reach the far-off blue seas. Therefore, protecting and developing the flying fish industry is not just about maintaining a profession. It is about preserving a vibrant culture and the future of a sustainably developed nation.